guys draw this stuff on here? I just paint that on there, dude. With little brushes? Yeah. That's badass. Thanks, bro. For this segment of What's Neat this week, I've got Garrett Christensen from Oregon. He's come all the way from Oregon to St. Louis for the 2014 Prototype Modelers Meet. And what Gary's got going on right now that I think's interesting and seriously applies to the show is he's got the highest rated article that Model Railroad Hobbyist has ever had in their experience so far in the time that the magazine's been in existence. And I think that's commendable. I've had hundreds and hundreds of articles in the model press and I know what it feels like to have that first, second, third, and 50th article. But this is Gary's very first article and I really wanted to ask him what is it what is it that he's gotten from this the homage the immediacy of the feedback that you get on the internet that we could never have in print magazines before and so with this magnificent incredible box car i want to hand it over to gary and just kind of get some of his feedback on what he thought about his model railroad hobbyist magazine first article experience so gary christensen i want to give you the camera yeah um what i got out of it like most of all i don't i don't when i model or i uh things online at the weathering shop I don't uh, it's not praise I seek it's not commentary coming back I like questions people asking questions that's vital to me I'm not I'm not afraid to share what I know you know a lot of when I first got in the hobby a lot of people would uh, kind of covet what they uh, what they what they knew and it kind of frustrated me because I'd like to learn what they learned so with that being said I like to uh, I like to my whole journey in this in this model weathering is to basically share what I know. I'm not threatened or challenged by what anybody does out there like they're going to bypass what I do. I, in fact, I'd like to see it kind of pass the torch as we teach our kids. I'm kind of here to help out and I wish a lot of more artists would out there be willing to share some techniques, but that's kind of the reward in it to me is in essence being able to pass the torch and be able to teach those who are hungry for the, the information. Um, that's about it. I mean, I uh, I, I published a model. Jeremy, my, uh, Jeremy St. Peter is the uh, he's a weathering shop owner, site builder, maintainer. Once a month, I give an offering. Uh, kind of kept on that schedule and agenda for almost up, upwards of five years now. And uh, each model that I do, like I said, when I approach my workbench, is to basically do the best I can. And whatever I do uh, accomplish, and whatever is published on the weathering shop, I'm open for questions, and I like to share whatever information you know that I and techniques whatever I know in, in Harbor. And that's about it. I mean, you know, anything outside of that is just, uh, you know, it's another day, I guess. You know? So anyways, that's it. That's, this has been a great experience. I've uh, really thoroughly enjoyed the feedback. I've got questions to answer to people. Um, I like answering questions. I actually like the interaction. So it's been a real pleasant and great experience. And I've got a few more things coming down the pike. So i get a few more ideas I'd like to share. That's about it. Gary, I think there's a question I really want to ask you and other, other modelers would be interested in hearing. Now that you've had your first published article in Model Railroad Hobbyist Magazine, what would you suggest to other aspiring authors that want to write and get their work published? Um, basically, it'd be put your fears aside. If you have any fear about it, put it aside. And realize if you got a talent in there, you got something you want to share with somebody, there's a channel to do so. This is a great outlet. It really is. And a lot of this opportunity doesn't exi exist out there. You know, model railroad hobbyist to me has been like, it's been a, it's been a channel to basically that a lot of people don't have, to, you know, they don't have other magazines just don't openly invite authors from the basic general population. They basically have their set authors, which I'm not downplaying by any means because there's some talented people out there. But this is a golden opportunity for some of the most uh, talented people that are unknown to channel and have an outlet. So whatever, if they're afraid of writing or they, there's a lot of work in it, of course there's gonna be work. This was a lot of work. It took a bit of time, but the reward in the end was being published. And secondly, um, the fact that I could share my knowledge and pass the torch, like I was saying earlier. You know, and if the people have that out there, I encourage them to like just just go for it, you know? Just go for just it. Just go for just it. Just yeah, go, for, go it. for it, Submit yeah. your material Submit and your, go yeah, for it. exactly. Yeah. So. Well, man, thank you very much. Well, thank you, Ken. All right. Yeah. Good. I think you're cool. There's nothing really going on in the world right now. It's when they put the train on the track and stuff. It's interesting. Try to get some good cloud shots out here. Cloud shots are good. Are, are these all your boxes? Except for no, except for the real boxes. These are all sort of new. Yeah.